Hello Queens and welcome back to the stream. I am Gina aka the Gina Chew and today we are playing lots of Skyrim. If you're looking at me and you're like Gina what is with your makeup? The answer is um I've had a pretty chill day today and I'm really excited to stream because my shoulders are actually feeling kind of relaxed today and uh, I just got so excited I decided to just put on the most exciting makeup in my makeup bag that I could find and this happened. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am so excited to be streaming for you guys today. I'm sorry the stream started a little bit late. I was on the phone with my mom. Um, I'm going to see her next month. I'm really excited, but she really wanted to talk. So, um, she, uh, is doing well. Um, and my shoulder has been doing well. I noticed that I've been streaming on weekends, so I think that being at work all day typing and, and moving my arm around is kind of tiring my shoulder to the point where by the time I get home and I go to stream it's just kind of hurts way too much so I don't know if that's going to be a thing until we figure out what's wrong with my shoulder I'm going to my chiropractor on Monday to see the results of the MRI um but um you know, today I'm feeling good and I'm taking advantage of it and we're going to play some Skyrim so I played a little bit off stream because um I'm in the middle of the um Dongar DLC, which I've played on stream before, um, and I'm sure that many of you guys know it. So I played a little bit more up until the point where we are going into the Soul Cairn, and I figured that would be a fun time for us to hang out because the Soul Cairn is boring as fuck, <laughs> and I really want to take time to explore the whole thing and talk to everyone and see what quests we can find there because I have stuff I want to collect for my museum, and... You know, I've never really gone through the entirety of the Soul Cairn because it is huge and vast and there's a lot of stuff there. So I figured, why the hell not? Um, I believe when last we left off, I had just kind of, um, returned, uh, Serana to her castle. But basically she pops back up and she's like, hey, my father's a douche. We need to find the other Elder Scrolls to figure out what exactly he's looking to do. And so one of the Elder Scrolls um, is locked in a, um, an old uh, dwarven tomb, which uh, we will get to. But the other one, her mother has. And so we tracked her mother down. Um, turns out her mother had this whole underground area underneath the castle. And she created a portal to the Soul Can, which is where souls that have been soul trapped go to kind of chill out and be soul trapped so we're gonna go jump in there because that's a great idea and we are uh going to see what we can see in there grab an elder scroll maybe kill a dragon or two uh maybe get a spectral horse maybe you know help help some dead people possibilities are pretty much endless right i mean why wouldn't we it's skyrim Oh god, oh god, are we okay? Okay, we're okay. Sometimes, queen, this computer just doesn't want to be normal. I was just texting my brother, seeing where he was. Alright, let's jump back in, my dears. So, I'm a little worried about my carrying capacity because I kind of looted a bunch of stuff in Serana's mother's, uh, uh, little lab here. I got a bunch of cool stuff, though. I got a Daedra heart. I got some fun stuff. I didn't pick up a bunch. I picked up what I really wanted and kind of left the rest here, and I figure when I'm done with the soul care, if I have room to carry anything else, I'll pick stuff up then. But this is basically where we are with the Soul Cairn. We got the ingredients, we mixed them up, she mixed them with her blood, and now we can jump into the Soul Cairn. So, uh, since we are a glutton for punishment... Oh no! It's not working! Are you alright? That looks painful. It was, what happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. What? It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. 
I could probably go through there without a problem. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. No. There has to be another Maybe. way. We and could just is. pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill My me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. We can. Those I'm are my sorry. only options. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. So your stats I know that better than anyone. So your stats do get weakened if you decide to become partially soul trapped. And there is a, a quest you can go on while you're in there to gather the pieces of your soul back. I don't know if you can then go back into the soul cairn later. So we're gonna kind of have to make this trip count, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like unless we want to become a vampire, which I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't, especially because we're gonna have to become a werewolf later when we do the companions, and I would rather be a werewolf than a vampire. Have you made up your mind? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I mean, I like vampires, but these vampires are just weird, and I feel like getting hurt by the sun just isn't convenient. Have you made up your mind? Yes. Um, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Uh, soul trap. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. Yeah, that's also the other thing, is we'll be weakened. Um, I'm I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I, I do never do anything that could hurt you. I do, because I've played this quest before, and I know what you're going to do. I trust you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time, then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Mother must be waiting on the other side of that room. Okay, so let's look at weakened soul since it's, uh, I guess, a deep off that we now have on us. Um, uh, how do we? Forget how we see Let's go. Maybe we my can't mother see must it. be waiting on the other side of that thing. I can look at my skills. So my stats, like my my I don't know, I guess when I pass through maybe I'll see well no, because it added it it added it to me. I heard stories about the soul care. Okay, so here we go. So our stamina and magic are 85 and our health is now 125. But I see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. And the other part about this that sucks is that we do not have a horse. There is no horse for us. Um, so there is a lot of soul cairn to be discovered. Soul cairn. <laughs> Um, and I do want to try to see as much of it as possible, so, you know, it's something I've never really done before, but... I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden with every step I take. And I can use these soul fishes to harvest souls into empty, um, gems that I have, which is kind of cool my personal opinion, um, especially because my Blade of Woe is in desperate need. As you can see, I don't really have any gems on me. I have stuff point just to where I want to go. Alright, so we have this wall that's kind of the barrier of where we can and cannot go. Yeah. So that kind of sucks, but that's alright. 
least we know where our boundaries are. If we could try and maybe trace most of the perimeter, we can figure out where in the middle we haven't been yet so that we can try and see everything. Why not, right? Sounds like kind of a Now, I could go through the main stuff first and then get my soul back and then go through all this other stuff, which is probably the smarter thing in the real world. I probably should do that, huh? I probably should do that, huh? Okay. Do that. I'll be smart about it! Whatever! Like this. <coughs> I was one of Raymond's core wizards. That sounds like that's a thing that sucks. Where'd you come from? Oh, a bone man. We've got a bone I pick with you. <laughs> also, we get soul gems off of them, which is really awesome, and I need them desperately for my weapon. So, empty, full, I don't care. I'm gonna fill them with these soul things, and I'm gonna enchant all of my weapons. Um, which is a, uh, good and very, you know, useful thing about the soul care, actually. This accursed place is nothing but a prison without walls. Yeah, pretty much. From what I understand, that's exactly what it is. So, I- You must oh. help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. So, Arvac is, um, a, a ghost horse that we get a spell to summon him and ride him around here so our back our back my horse we came to this horrible place together we were attacked by monsters so i told him to run please he's such a loyal creature and he's been running for so long i want the spell you have to save him a place like this will change you how can i help him our back our back where are you our back please come back come back also, I don't know how the horse got there. Did somebody soul trap the horse? Is that a thing that can mm -hmm. happen? Until next time. That was hilarious. He's like, okay, until next time, and then just disappears. He was like panicking, and then he's like, alright, I'll see you later. 11 out of 10. know where our because we have to find him. Is this Jib? Shh. I think Jib is somebody us. on the people. Always watching. Oh hey Arvac! Arvac, wait! That's actually Arvac! We actually have to find his skull and put it somewhere to get Arvac. Also, this place is all purple, and my shirt and makeup were all purple. I feel like today's just a purple day. Jesus Christ. New York the past couple days. Woo! We've been having many, many... Where'd you come from? We've been having many thunderstorms. is my reminder for my allergy pill. So I hope you all have been having a lovely weekend. My weekend has been pretty chill. I've been home pretty much alone. My dearest brother, Mr. Opal Phoenix, is out with friends today. And my father has been in and out. So... I've just been chilling here, cleaning, cleaners come to the house. 
Okay, so here is Serrano's Madre. Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a minute. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. Hi. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Um... I'm just here for the elder... I'm just here for the food! Uh, no. Uh, this is no ruse. Coming from one saying. who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. You know what, I'm not even Serana gonna give you has days. sacrificed Fair everything enough. to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here for the You think scroll. I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you when mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. Correct. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Uh -huh. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. So the Tyranny Sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're blood? beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. You think Harkon means If color? Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the Tyranny of the Sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Never and how exactly do you plan on stopping him? By punching him in the face until he dies. I'll kill if him. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? Sure. Okay. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Eh. So I'm gonna leave me by Solana, the stranger, aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Sarah, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger! So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. Oh, I want shit. us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. 
Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. Okay. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the other scroll with yes. you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere. Dernevere! I love Dernevere. Be wary of him. Oh, Dernevere's cool. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. All right, so we need to kill the Boneyard Keepers. They are big mother truckers, but um, we can punch them in the face until they die, so that's cool. Um. And we're gonna do just that. Because as you may know, people die if they are killed. So I'm trying to explore more of this stuff. So that sky. It feels like I'm being watched. I can't stand it anymore. Yeah, I can see how that would drive you a little batty. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit too. My allergies have been terrible. How could they trick me like this? I was one of Riemann's court wizards. Especially since we met another one who was one of Riemann's court wizards and you're dressed completely like a warrior. I this is you. no place for you. That is true. That is a statement that is full of true things. Sweet. 
Our back skull. Exactly where to, but I will at some point. Greater soldiers can be placed upon there to make it attract lightning. I wonder what that's for. I kind of don't want to waste soul gems, but either that's supposed to help us not get struck if we actually can get struck, or it's to do something. Maybe if we attract light to all, like lightning to all the right places, something special happens. I don't know. It's probably more to protect ourselves. I don't really care if that's the case. I would rather not waste my soul gems. and get back to the prison. Okay, well, 
Who's there? I to pick that up now, so... No, I heard something. St. Jib? No, well, look Strap. what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole cover of necromancers. Oh. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? So that's how you got You me. got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plumped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Correct. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. Kill those keeper things and get back to the You prison. still got that it. That is open. part of Jib's office. So how many of these things do I have? I have four. I need twenty-one more of them. Certainly, I can pull that off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Whatever, I'll just remember it as this place with these three pillars here.
because that's kind of a cool quest. I, I vaguely remember running into him in a previous playthrough. I don't know what he has in his cart. I don't know if he can just get to take everything, because, like, there's really no monetary value in soul husks. something to somebody. You know what I mean? One man's trash is another man's also trash. That's what they say, right? That's the same. So yeah, if I remember correctly, we have to go through like a maze of places here, or is that when we get our soul back? I forget. I forget what we're doing. <laughs> with those big crystals right over there. I believe that's where we get the pieces of us. Let me go back. Way more soul husks just sitting around. I guess not. Managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yeah. Yes. Please follow me. Yes. Give me that Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. have 
these, but I want to see if I can learn anything from them, which indeed I could. Okay. I can't believe we found my mother alive. into this boneyard which is really just a fighting pit for Dernavir, let's be honest. He's here. Defend yourselves. Who's there? So I don't really have any healing potions left, so I am slightly concerned. Astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Yeah, questionable. Is he dead? Is he really? Or is he just kind of gone for a little bit? Forgive my astonishment. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. I'm the Dovahkiin. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's skin can hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Donavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Latin. Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Cool.
Now that you've retrieved the Order Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Book of Life and Service. This book I actually haven't read. But it's going in my collection now, bitch! People will be like, where'd you get this book? I'll be like, the Soul Cairn. And they'll be like, hey, hey, hey. And I'll be like, no, really. I was I was just chilling in the Soul Cairn with my vampire friends. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter back. applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your like soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Sarama entered the soul camp, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. Any idea where There's an offer in altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Kolkhan. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. 19 soul hosts, we need six more. So, you know, some of these ones I pillaged, some of them I didn't, and I can't really tell which is which. Have weapons in them. I need five more. Say your weapons. Oh, here we go. I would speak with you, Quanarin. I love Darn of Year. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I love him. His voice is so good. 
Uh, why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. Yeah, I'm just that awesome. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. I thought we your were words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Kind of a favor. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. Stop it. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. That sucks. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Okay, just call your name in Tamriel? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. And by the way... Come on, let's go home. Um, we're not even close to going home. Um, also, just so we're all aware, um, shouting his name to the sky does jack shit. You need to find a nice big open space and scream it at the ground. And then he will be summoned. It is actually a little tricky, and I've always had problems doing it. And I felt really stupid until I went on the and found that, like, everyone else and their mother also has trouble doing it. You have to be in, like, a big enough space. If the game feels like you're in too constricted of an area, it just won't work. First, we have tons of stuff that needs to be done. Let's go in this direction. Okay, so we got part ten of Jib's works. So we need to find the other nine. I think there's ten of them, and they're somewhere around the Soul Cairn. It's like looking for a needle in a fucking haystack. reference to that place. I think that's it up there.
have no idea where it was now. you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place, but I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Aww, Arvac. Such a good horse. nowhere near where we want to be. Everywhere I go, like, the, the, the local map changes, and I have no idea how to get back to where I was before. Like, I have no idea where that guy is with his freaking... I have no idea where to get St. Jib's crap. I don't even know where St. Jib is. He's somewhere around here. That I do know. Getting lost. 
Stats are back to normal. At this point we can leave with our full power intact.
Is that it? Is that the building? I don't know. Shit, it is. I actually found my way back. Holy shit. Brought some soap. Well, I've been so busy, I don't know. What, are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, a spell tone. Yes. Sure. Here you go. Healing hands. Can't understand a word of it. Maybe it will do you some good. Healing hands. things. Well, I tried to save Skyrim and it crashed. fantastic I have no idea when the last time it saved was so that's great alright well I guess that's gonna kind of be it for the stream then <laughs> because this game is not going to cooperate so uh, I guess I'm just gonna end stuff here unfortunately the stream wasn't as long and stuff um, so, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for tonight, but hopefully I will be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern for more fun times. I don't know what we'll do. We could do Neverwinter. We could do something else. I don't know. Let me know if there's any games that you want to see. Come join us in the Discord if you want to come hang out, and uh, thanks so much for watching. I love your faces, and I will see you all very soon. Have a lovely evening.